card that everyone wants to avoid. It also appears in many mystery novels. Death. Of course, it does not mean an actual death of a person. If it did, one would die every 78 times we pick a card. As the card of strength did not show powerful impression, this card does not have such a dark mood. There is a skull knight, but without a sword, and a bright sunlight is rising from afar. Overall, the card is filled with yellow and blue, giving us a rather tender feeling. Now, let's look closer. The knight must represent the death itself. One person is already lying dead. Judging from the crown by his side, we can assume that he was a king. This means that something we cherish, something that used to support us, is gone. The death is proceeding forward. In its path, a woman and a child are fallen down on their knees, and an old man is standing beside. He is wearing a hat that resembles the bishop of the chess, so I guess he is a bishop. Death comes to everyone, whether it may be an adult, or a child, a man, or a woman, a priest or not. This card shows us that the current situation cannot be avoided. Look at the death itself. The skull, a white horse, a black armor, and a black flag with a white flower. The main colors are black and white. Achromatic colors imply that there are no feelings involved. It just needed to be done. That is what this card differs from justice. It does not blossom because it is right, nor does it wither because it is wrong. It also differs from the Wheel of Fortune, in that the Wheel of Fortune stands for a change, while this one usually means the end. The end may actually be death. But it could also mean the end of a career, abandoning our property, or giving up our plan. One may say it is too early to finish, but the death comes to a child. One may say it is good for so many people, but the death comes to a high priest. It may be something important or meaningless, splendid, or simple. And as are the cases with most deaths, we may realize what we give up after the death has come and gone. However, the card of death has a lot of hopes drawn in it as well. You can see a sun rising between the pillars. In order to get there, you may need to give up your crown, take off the glorious robe, and climb up the stiff hill. A ship is already waiting for us to carry us to the other side. We may have already realized that we should give up the current problem, and move on to the next. One may think of bad meanings from the death card, but death does not come to hurt us. It simply tells us that we need to be daring and give up the current comfort, in order to start anew.